All right, so 5 eighths minus a quarter over 1 eighth plus a half. Um, we should follow PEMDAS. Um, now there's no parentheses, but but it's there's a kind of a there's a grouping symbol here, which is this this big long fraction bar here, and this is basically telling us look look do figure out the top of the fraction and then figure out the bottom and then divide right. So that's kind of what we need to do. Um, so. Yeah, there's a couple of ways of writing this out. I mean, you could also think of this as, like, if you wanted to, you could think of it as 5 eighths minus a quarter, and then think of this big, long fraction bar as a big divide by sign. So it's all divided by 1 eighth plus a half, right? So if you want to write it out this way and do it this way, you can. But just put parentheses around the top and bottom, and it'll be, it'll be the same thing. Um, but I think throughout the class, we just kind of left it in big fraction form and worked it out that way, in complex fraction form, worked it out that way. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, but basically, we need to do 5 eighths minus a quarter first. So we got to get a common denominator, right? So 4 goes into 8. So just multiply 4 by 2 over 2, right? And that's... 5 eighths minus 2 eighths, which is 3 eighths, right? All over, and then an 8 plus a half. 2 goes into 8, so multiply a half by something, right? So 2 times 4 is 8, isn't it? So multiply that guy by 4 over 4, and we get 1 8 plus 4 8, 5 8. So we should have 3 8 all over 5 8. Now let me know if you have any questions to there. We okay as far as there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the only trick now is to realize that this we kind of have three division bars. This for the three eighths fraction. This for the five eighths fraction. This big one in between. This big one in between means that it, like that's like a divide by sign. You've got three eighths divided by five eighths. That's the trick, right? Uh, when you're dividing fractions, you take the one on the right and flip it and multiply. That should be 3 eighths times 8 over 5. Are we clear on that? Yeah. And you all could do 24 over 40 and then simplify it and get 3 fifths, but it would be a lot easier if we just... Cross cancelled, right? So 8 and 8 goes once, 8 and 8 goes once, 3 times 1 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5, and so the answer should be 3 fifths. Okay with that?